Hey YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to complete the second layer of the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So um, there aren't really any expectations to this video, but it would be really nice to, um, that you know how to solve the cross in the first layer. If you don't, make sure you check it out right here. This is the first layer tutorial, and in the first layer tutorial, there's going to be a annotation that takes you to a, the cross video. So um, I'll be right back to show you the second layer. Okay, so um, as always, I have um, a good second layer and a bad second layer. So this is a good um, second layer and this is a bad. And then after you do the finish the completed layer, you make sure you put the white um, side on the bottom and then so this is the bad one because the middle one isn't oriented properly and also in the middle you ch you don't want any yellow pieces because when you complete it in the middle the white is on the bottom in the middle there aren't any um, yellow and also in the middle they should all be matching this is good because or this is orange and orange 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 that's matching green 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 that's matching red 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 that's matching blue 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 that's matching and this one nope 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 no 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 and so on so um yeah I'll be right back to I'll scramble I'll scramble my tube and I'll be right back to explain it in more detail Okay, so um, I scrambled it, and then I finished the doing the first layer. So, and then, so that now, you put the white um, side on the bottom. And then, so now, to finish, um, to do, well, actually, this is the first, like, episode that you start learning um, algorithms. And if you don't know what an algorithm is, it's basically like a sequence of moves that does one thing so when we do algorithms we use letters so this would be an F this would be a um, F counterclock or counter yeah I don't know and then this would be U and this is let's just call it prime so this is U prime this is R this is R prime this is L and this is L prime Okay, now, so, let's get to it. So, this one, you have, and when you're choosing an edge, make sure it's always on the top layer, so, on the yellow side, and then this, make sure it's always an edge, and make sure it's an edge without a yellow um, color in any of the sides. So, this one's good, this one's good. This one's good, but this one's not because there's a yellow on either one of them. So, let's just choose this one. So first, you have to match it with the color that's facing you. So, now it's matching. And you have to think about this. So, this is the green. Do you want to make the green go on this side? Or do you want to make the green go on this side? Well, make the green go on this side because you can tell that this is the green side. But this isn't. So to do this, it's basic. It's really easy. You face it away. So U, and then you make it go up. R, U prime, and R prime. Then um, I'll have the algorithm right here. So then you just put it back in normally. So you turn it upside down again, and then to put this in, you just do it like a normal um pair. So you do. You move it out of the way, you put it down, you put it in, you put it back in. Okay, then, um, and please keep in mind that this isn't the fastest way to do it, but it is probably the easiest way to do it. Now, um, we can't do this one because it's blue and yellow, and we don't want any yellows. Also, we can't do this because it's orange and yellow. There's in yellow. Can we do this? Yes, because... This is blue and red. There aren't any um, yellows. So you have to align these two. And then again, this should this has to go this way, not this way. Because you don't want to make the red go that way. You want to make it go that way. 
So to do it, I'm gonna do, do U R U prime R prime. So um, that what basically what that basically does is you just move it out of the way, or instead of move it, well you move it away from the direction you want to put it in. You do an up and then U prime R prime, and then again you just put it in normally. So now we have one, two of the four total um, edges. So now let's do uh, this one then. There's three total cases, but it looks like we're going to have the same one for each of them. But anyways, this one, the greens are matching. This is orange. That is not the orange side. This is. So to put it in, again, you do u r u prime r prime and then now you have a um like a pair i guess and then you put it in normally again so you do you move it in the way you bring it down you put it in and then you bring it back up then um this is the same case but i'm gonna try and get a different case so i'll be right back okay so the second case is instead of moving it to the right you move it to the left it's exactly it's basically the same thing just different primes so you have um the blues are matching but the orange isn't so you don't bring the orange that way but you bring it that way this time so to do that you move it away or yeah you move it to the direction that away from the direction so since you're trying to bring this there you move it away so basically you prime um, L prime, you bring it up, U, and R prime. So it's basically the same thing, just on this side. And then to put this in, it's on just on the left side, so you move it out of the way. You put this down, and then you put it in, and then you put it back up. So that's how you do the middle, um, or the second layer. But there's going to be one more case, so I'll be right back to show you it. Okay, so the last case is when it's in, but it's flipped. This rare, rarely happens, but if it does, um, I, don't, I just don't want to miss anything. So to do this, you put a piece with a yellow um, edge. That's the only time you're going to put a yellow edge in a mid, um, middle, um, the second layer. So, that's, so you only do it when it's in the second, um, when the, it's flipped. Okay, sorry there. So um, so now what you have to do is just put in any edge with a yellow piece. It has to be a yellow piece when it's flipped. To do it, you you just bring it to the width. Um, you want to bring this. You want to replace this one with this. So you just do the same thing. U, R, U prime, R prime, and then you just put it in normally. Then the piece that you're, that was in it gets out, which because it, you replaced it, and then now you can put it in normally. So since the blue goes in that way, you do U R U prime R prime. Then it ha it makes like a pair, and then again you just put it in normally. So um yeah, that's how you do the second layer of the three by three Rubik's cube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe, comment, and like. And um, I'll see you on my next video.